So this is gonna be a different type of video for today. It's not gonna be like all of the other videos that I've made up until this point with all the insertion of memes and things like that. This is a video of a very serious topic and I'm going to treat it as such. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, um, today, well actually a couple days ago, uh, legend in the Smash Brothers community decided to take his life. Today is pretty much a day where officially, according to the New York Police Department, Etika has been found dead. For anybody who's played Super Smash Brothers or has even heard of the game, pretty much this man's name goes right along with it. There's no way on earth you could have heard of the game Super Smash Brothers and not know who this guy is. Without a question, without a doubt, this man is a legend. Me personally, I enjoy watching his reactions to the different character trailers when they were released and the character announcements and the game itself being announced. Moral of the story, he's a very well-renowned person when it comes to Super Smash Brothers and the community of Super Smash Brothers. Many people know him for the Joy-Con boys. For all of you watching this video, hopefully you all know that suicide is definitely not an answer to any of the problems that you're going through in life. And I know this is gonna sound very cliche and you've heard it thousands and thousands of times over and over again, but suicide is a temporary solution to a long-standing problem. In the video that he made that somebody else uploaded on YouTube, he said that he needed help and that you can't help somebody who doesn't wanna be helped. And he said that he did a lot of gimmicks and antics to tarnish his legacy and that he's sorry to everybody of what he's done. Personally, I don't think in the grand scheme of things, the things that I saw him do were tarnishing to his legacy per se. I've seen a lot of celebrities do stuff a hundred times worse than what Etika has done and they've bounced back from it and people seem to forget that they did it in the first place. Like Britney Spears, for example, you saw the whole phase that she went through of shaving her head bald and all that other stuff. And now people, they treat her as if she never went through that phase. Of course, we still remember the stuff that she did, but like, people treat it as if it never happened. So, Etika, he could have definitely bounced back, in my humble opinion, from all of the quote-unquote antics he did that he said tarnished his legacy. A lot of the times in our mind, we think that the stuff that we do is a lot more damaging than what it actually is. And personally, that's what I think this situation boils down to. The crazy part about all of this is that I know in about two to five hours tops, I'm gonna be searching YouTube and I'm gonna look and see many of these drama channels on here mentioning Etika's name and pretty much profiting off of his death. And YouTube isn't gonna do anything about it. Lovely. But that's just what they expect from this site and the types of people that we have uploading on this site. But that's all I have to say on this topic. I wish his fans, friends, and family the best of graces as far as moving on and dealing with the death of somebody that they truly love and i encourage any and everybody who has like the slightest idea that they think they might be mentally ill to immediately seek help don't let it get out of hand and build up and really i feel like all of this is because of social media people have let social media rule them instead of them ruling social media people especially influencers and creators we tend to blur the lines between reality and creating videos and entertainment. And we try to always do something that's a lot more eye grasping and clickbaitish, you know, to grasp our viewers' attention and try to beat what we did last time. So that in itself and accompanied with other mental problems that people may have, it could definitely cause somebody to want to commit suicide. And that's a lot of the stuff that goes on as far as creating videos that people don't really like to talk about because that's not gonna attract viewership. But it is something that is very real and something that does need to be talked about a lot more. So don't commit suicide no matter how bad you feel like your life is going and definitely seek help if you feel like you have some type of mental disorder. Mental illness is on the rise in Western civilization especially. Uh, you can check the statistics for yourself if you don't believe what I'm saying. And make sure to not let social media rule your life so you don't end up doing crazy outlandish things for views and attention, which you'll then regret later on once you finally come to the realization of what you've done. So, so that's all I have to say for this video. Hopefully you all take something from it. And rest in peace, Etika. You will be greatly missed.